Hey there, it's M.W. McLeod, and here is the character introduction for AJ. So there's going to be some mild Critical Role Campaign 3 spoilers incoming. If you do not want to hear mild spoilers, go away now. I'm sorry. Are you gone yet? Okay, great. So anyway, AJ is an automaton. And he has this little glitch. Uh, and we like to call that glitch amnesia. And he cannot remember something like five years of his life. And very recently, he's started to have this extra, like, voice inside his head. Um, and I'm not sure if that voice has actually identified itself as somebody or something yet. But uh, it used to be that his eyes both glowed blue, and now um, one of them blinks red. And uh, he is a cleric. Sorry, I probably should have front-loaded that because the rest of it is where it gets interesting. Uh, so uh, he has uh, begun having some issues, obviously. Um, and most recently, on a full moon in the capital city of uh, the country that we're in, continent, what, uh, whatever, D&D &D things, homebrew D&D &D things. <laughs> anyway, uh, we uh, saw him basically like come to life on his own. And, well, that doesn't make any sense. You get my picture here. <laughs> and uh, walk out of uh, the place that we were staying and send some sort of coded message to something uh, outside. And it said uh, 5010-T. That was the sign-off. And we are trying to figure out and crack the code of what that is supposed to be, and we're pretty sure it's supposed to mean a name, but we don't know what it means. Apparently, according to our dungeon master, we're overthinking it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we have spent hours sitting and trying to figure out what in the world 5010-T is supposed to mean. And every time we get, nice try, you're overthinking it. And I just, urgh, I would love to be able to tell you what that means. We cannot. So internet, if you're good at cracking codes with absolutely no other context, there you go. Have fun. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I've gone down on a tangenty spiral. Uh, anyway, uh, that is AJ. He is our healer, so of course he's, um, of course bad things are gonna happen to the healer. Why wouldn't they? Especially because this is the same dungeon master who uh, used a trap called Crush the Cleric last campaign. Of course, we also had a uh, kind of uh, not healy cleric at that time. And the bard had gone full on uh, healer because the cleric was uh, could not be relied upon to heal. Well, the bard decided, oh, I'll go ahead and heal them. And the bard got hit with, I don't know, like 200 bludgeoning damage. And thus, Crush the Cleric became Bludgeon the Bard. Um, same player character, by the way. <laughs> this poor guy. Anyway, I have gone down on a spiral. Uh, if you have any questions about AJ, because there's a lot to unpack there, uh, put a comment down below, and maybe I'll do another video on him. Uh, but for now, that is AJ, and next time we're talking about Demi. I just wanted to take a quick second to say thank you to my patrons for supporting me.